Yo, what's up, guys? Teacher Paul here and Filippi. Hello there, everyone. Today we are reacting to some Swedish food. <laughs> Filippi, do you like sandwiches? Yeah, I do like sandwiches a lot. Do you like cakes? Yeah, of course. I do like cakes. Do you like a sandwich cake? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I've never had one before. So this Would you is invite me to have one. <laughs> hey, if 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 anybody you know ever um, tells me where to buy this here, because I don't know, I've never had this. This is called Smorgostarta Torta. Smorgos Wait, Smorgostorta. Smorgos Smorgostorta. <laughs> <laughs> oh mm -hmm. man, it's, I'm not the best at reading um, Swedish, but let's take a look at this video and let me know what you think of this. This is the Swedish Smorgorstorta. It's a cake, it's a sandwich. Okay, let's we go. We don't know. It's both. Google Smorgorstorta and tell me what you think it is. I mean, it's a cake. <laughs> But it has shrimps and salmon, and the base is oh. bread, so it's a sandwich cake. <laughs> it's, it's like Smurgle's daughter. <laughs> you can't really describe it in any other way. I do love the food that defies expectations, and this one does seem to have it all. It's a Swedish classic <clears throat> from the 1930s. This is Jovan. Jovan Sandelin Jarlovsson, and I'm the owner and the head pastry chef here at the Katten. Guys, let he me know if you eat this during Fika as well. Food. If you're from out of Sweden, you think meatballs is so Swedish, but it's not. The smuggler's torta is very typical Swedish. You have it all over the country. So awesome. for the record, what is it? It's a cake, torta, and it's sandwich. <laughs> so it's a sandwich cake. But like logistically, the base of this sandwich cake is a white bread that has a filling. We have a special mixture called skag and röra here. It's just fresh shrimps, mayonnaise, and a pinch of horseradish. The cake is then covered in a whipped horse cream radish. cheese and or mayonnaise and left to sit refrigerated overnight. And then we decorate it with the salmon and shrimps. A lot of people love it. <laughs> we make at least I want this for my birthday cake. So, I mean, wow. it's big, big, big. <laughs> Surprisingly, here in New York City, I was unable to find it. Yeah, hi. I was wondering That's if you guys it. had smorgastorta. You don't. It's okay, hard to find. You. Yeah, I was wondering if you guys had smorgastorta. Mm -hmm. You don't. You don't. Okay, thank you. So I'm going to just have to make it on my own. We usually have two different kinds. We have one with meat and then we have with the seafood. So I'm going to go with the seafood one. There's a really big seafood section here at my grocery store. It comes from Smorgasbord, a full buffet filled with Norwegian delicious. salmon. Mayo and the bread. Got the bread. My grandma always used to serve Smorgastorta when I was a kid. It's part of our heritage here because it's uh, the best of everything. Guys, let me know in the comments if you grew up I eating smorgostorta. Sandwich. Make the sandwich cake. Okay, I've got what I need for part one. Jovan, chef, walk me through this. If you don't want to cook, it's a perfect dish. First we cut the bread, then we spread the filling. Mini shrimp salad. Oh, could you pause? It's then put delayed. Another layer of bread. This is not a typical activity. Ah. Yeah, the, the audio problem again. Yeah, it's the internet. Guys, let me know in Sweden, how is your internet? Because here in the UK, the internet is so bad. What about in Brazil? Um, I can't complain. Because <laughs> you're never online? No, it's <laughs> not that it's good. It's just like, I can't complain. <laughs> it's like, I can't. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, sorry for the delay, guys. For, sorry. This is not a typical activity for me to do on my living room floor. <laughs> Another filling, and then the bread. <laughs> it looks like buttercream, truly. <laughs> then we cover it in, uh, in fresh cheese or mayonnaise. Part one, done. Off to the fridge. 
Mm, day two. Day after you. But I don't think her dish That's is really gonna be cool like the reference, and right? Salmon and shrimps and everything, and then you eat it the same day. Mm -hmm. So it gets quite creamy and quite. It looks actually kind of good. Do we? There's a lot of flavors, but it's not a lot of texture. Doesn't look bad at all. All right, let's see what this is about. I think Jovan did this a bit of an injustice. I think the word gooey is not right. I do feel that like, it's very soft, but like, if you like cream cheese and if you like smoked fish, make yourself a smorgasbord. It's uh, it's good. I wonder if you use maybe a heartier bread. Actually, who cares? This is good. My final verdict on this: Is it a sandwich or a cake? Jovan's right. It's just a sandwich cake. <laughs> I'm curious. Let me know in the comments if there are any other foods you'd like to learn about and have me explore. Until then, school. <laughs> okay, now it got me hungry. <laughs> yeah. I've totally tried some smorgas torta. Yeah, do you like raw salmon? Because I, I feel like she used raw salmon or smoked salmon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, yeah. Um... I wasn't very used to to eat raw salmon, but then I got to sushi, mm. and then I I started to enjoy uh, uh, raw salmon. Yeah. So yeah, I I think I would totally eat it. Did you know that um, Japan had like a I don't know if it was a shortage or but it had a few problems with the the parasites in the salmon, and then they started to get salmon Ooh. from nordic regions from norway so they started to export norwegian salmon and that that increased the um the amount of of, of sashimi that they started eating mm -hmm. because of the the mm -hmm. high quality wow. salmon from norway mm -hmm. so if you ever eat raw oh, salmon go nice. for the scandinavian salmon <laughs> yeah sure absolutely yeah, guys, we should try this. You know, if if we <laughs> if we ever have the totally. yeah the like the the motivation. Well, I have the motivation or the the time. We should try this. Definitely try to make a homemade mm -hmm. smorgasbord. Mm -hmm. I I feel like I I already know how it it tastes. You know, mm. and for some reason it, it feels like I already know because. I have already sandwiches that uh, kind of looked like this, you yeah. know, and it's a cold dish and, you know, it has salmon. So it's a combination of things that I have already tasted before. Mm -hmm. And I just feel like I, I might have uh, tasted a, a, a smorgasbord before, but not, you know, not in the, the, in the uh, Sweden way, you know. Yeah, it's an accidental. It's different. I <laughs> but I, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, exactly. Or maybe, or maybe we just had a sandwich. <laughs> That's also a possibility. I mean, we already have uh, ice cream sandwiches, so yeah, th there's there's room for different types of sandwiches, you know. Yeah. I mean, there's the cake sandwich, ice cream sandwich. There's the uh, when I was little, I was used to you know get the fries. I was I got I used to put a little bit of ketchup in between them and make a, a, a fries with ketchup sandwich. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. It was, yeah, it was very crazy. <laughs> that's um, cool. And it tasted so good, but for some reason I just stopped doing that. <laughs> yeah, I've, I need to try. Well, I, I don't know if that's what you said was good, the, the fries and, and ketchup sandwich, but I'm, I'm thinking here of the smorgasbord. <laughs> I'm thinking of how <laughs> yeah, I can get yeah. that. I need to try the I Swedish mean, fika. Is, is such a, uh, I mean, sandwiches is, 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 is such a, a simple recipe since, you know, it's just bread, a filling and not and more bread, you know, mm -hmm. and then you can add in many more things to it, you know, yeah. and you can try different combinations and and stuff like that so i mean hamburgers are, are like are, are actually actually sandwiches you know yeah it, there are sandwiches uh buns on top of 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 
Well, sandwiched in between. Uh, meat sandwiched in between yeah. two buns. Okay. I'm getting yeah. a little bit of if delay you, here, though. If you though. try hard enough, if you try hard enough, you can even say that hot dogs are sandwiches. <laughs> Everything are sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, before we make a big list of what is considered a sandwich, <laughs> we're going to go to the next video. I'm so, so, so sorry for the delays. Um, it's the internet connection. I think it normalized now, but we'll see on the next video, guys. Let me know if you grew up eating smorgasorta and if it tastes like a regular sandwich or not, and what the difference is. Let me know in the comments down below. See you in the next one. Bye-bye. Now you can get full access to exclusive content, special reactions to shows, series, anime, full movies, and even request a video of your choice. Just become a YouTube member or join Buy Me A Coffee today. Find out more, the link is in the description. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right.